Rich Cribb's play Last Train to Frio has evolved over a number of stage productions. And finally, we're seeing the latest version on the big screen. It's about a late night train ride from Midland to Fremantle in Western Australia. Two men, obvious ex-cons, enter an empty carriage. They are the tall thug, Steve Lamarckand, and, and Trev, Tom Budge. A few stations down the line, they're joined by a pretty young law student, Lisa, Gigi Edgley, who seems unaware that the guards are on strike. Excuse me, miss. I know you're going to think this is terribly forward of me, but you are dead set the most beautiful woman I've ever seen catch this train before. Dead set. You made her all shy now. I kiss the ground on which you walk. No, 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 no. I kiss the lips on which you talk. No, 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 no. I was in Prague once. Would have been ten years ago. On their trains, this voice comes over the loudspeaker at every stop. Great, big, booming mother of a voice. I learned this off by heart. It goes. You call it here a vistup, a nestup, the bird say the bird ye. The taunting and seducing of Lisa by the thugs notches up the tension. The relief when two other passengers, Maureen, Gillian Jones, and Simon, Glenn, Hazeldean, get in the carriage is palpable. This fine new Australian film portrays the distances between lives lived in this country, but ultimately it's about love and loyalty. It's distinguished by really terrific performances from the ensemble cast of five, but Steve Lamarckand is a knockout. The tension that builds in that carriage over the course of the film is absolutely compelling. Director Jeremy Sims, working with cinematographer Toby Oliver in that confined space, works wonders. Shot on HD digital video, it looks amazingly good. The ending is perhaps a trifle too neat and in retrospect rather unlikely, but it didn't matter to me because taking that journey was so riveting and interesting and real. David. Well, real is probably the last word I'd use to describe this film. Um, wh when you film a play, there are obviously two main ways of doing it. You can either open it out and, and make it a, a completely new cinematic experience, or you can do what Jeremy Sims has done here and film the play more or less in real time on one set and keep a theatrical experience. And I'm told that on the stage it worked. Um, but it didn't work for me on, on film at all because I think film magnifies all the uh, flaws in it. And I think it's a very flawed play. I mean, I could not believe the basic premise of this. I mean, this girl walks into this train uh, dressed the way she is with these two guys there who are obviously uh, pretty tough characters. Wouldn't you go as far away from them as you possibly could? No, she sits herself right down next to them. And, and even later on when they try to explain some of this, it becomes even less likely. But David, I mean... Every piece of cinema is about an unlikely situation. Yeah, and it's well. whether you create the believability uh, within, within that frame. Yeah. I mean, for me, I was sucked in. I didn't sit there, but I, ag I agree with you. If you question those things at the beginning, mm. then, then you're, you're not on track from the start. On track, to put it mildly. Yeah. Yes. No, it's true. I mean, uh, I wasn't on track from the start. I, I just thought this is... Uh, I wouldn't say nonsense because it's not. It's it, you know it's a serious drama, and, and and even though the acting's a bit theatrical, it's you know it's 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 a well-intentioned piece, but um, it just didn't convince me one little bit, not one bit. Well, it did me. You know, I mean that's amazing that we have had two such different experiences mm. with this film. I'm going to give it four stars. I thought it was terrific. I thought it was very old-fashioned too. I'm going to give it one and a half. Doors closing. If you were from Claysbrook, getting your dick caught in the door would have to be the single most exciting event in your dog's breath of a life. Want to see my dying fish? <laughs> She's laughing. She loves me. She's laughing at you, you dickweed. You're just jealous because I'm doing better than you. Last Train to Frio is screening around the country.